Hi everyone, um, this is just a video response uh, for the Cobra Man. Um, he asked about uh, uh, signal to noise um, or receiver sensitivity uh, measurements on the 2955 uh, or any other test set really. Um, it's pretty much exactly the same for, um, for, for all test sets. Now, that there are a couple of methods of uh, me measuring receiver sensitivity well there's loads of them but uh, the most two most common ones are probably signal to noise and I think that's what um, what Mark was uh, talking about the other night um, or Synad um, now I prefer to use uh, the Synad method because um, uh, it includes uh, audio um, distortion in, in, in the signal as, as well as um, as well as just uh, signal uh, compared to noise um, which is what uh, signal to noise uh, measures um, so cyanide being um, uh, signal um, plus noise and distortion um, it, it, uh, it, it'll tell you whether there's any problems with your, your receiver or your chain um, or whether the receiver is off frequency or anything of that sort of thing um, it's, uh, it's a little bit more comprehensive and having a 2955 with a built-in side meter um, means you can you might as well you might as well use it. Um, but the 2955 is going to it will do both. It will do signal to noise as well as uh, as well as sign and they're both quite easy measurements. But sign just a little bit more comprehensive, and I tend to, to like to use the sign method because most um, service information specifies sign ad anywhere rather than signal to noise. Um, I did I did notice that uh, the, both the the export manuals for the Uniden and for the the um, uh, for the Cybernet chassis, um, both probably use uh, signal to noise. But really, um, if if you've got uh, either radio and you use the Synad method, um, you're going to get uh, an idea of whether the receiver is still w working properly or not, um, and whether it's on frequency and that sort of thing. So it's uh, you know it's, it's still a, even though the, the service information doesn't specify Synad. Um, it specifies signal to noise. Um, I suppose you could check it with, with the signal to noise measurement, and then um, to see if it's close to the manual, um, and then uh, use the cyanide method to, um, to 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 make that a little bit more accurate. But the way, as I said, that the, I, I use the signal to noise, and this this is the way to set it up. And it's the same for both, whether you're using cyanide or signal to noise doesn't make much difference. Um, as far as the way set set up goes, I've got a lead coming up coming out of the, the radio out the external speaker socket because uh, I find it easier um, cuts the internal speaker off out of the equation but uh, you know that's just sort of my preference and I faded into the um, 2955 in the same way as Mark had the other night in the um, external audio source um, or audio in and then uh, um, with uh, white noise um, I'll set the volume control up to read uh, about a volt on your um, uh, your F uh, voltmeter on your 2955. It reads, reads about a volt with just white noise going into it on FM, um, and then start feeding your signal in on on uh, on, on your, your desired frequency, which in this case is 20, 27, 205, which is channel 20 on the on the midband, um, and then just reduce the um, signal level. On your signal generator until your um, sign meter reads approximately uh, 12 dB, um, and then your, your your level on your signal generator gives you the level that, uh, that at that point where you, you're receiving a 12 dB signal, um, and that's it's as simple as that really. And then that that uh, that that level there is the, is the, the the level of the signal that. Uh, your receivers hearing a 12 dB signal uh, signal at, um, and 12 dB is the, the specified level in, in most manuals. Um, some some specify 20 dB cyanide um, or signal to noise. In most cases, it's 20 dB, which means this level here. Obviously, if that read 20 dB, this level here would be higher. Um, you'd need a stronger signal to get 20 dB um, cyanide, but uh, or, or even signal to noise, but um, you know, if your manual specifies 20 dB, it's probably easier to 
um, to, to sort of match your figures up as far as your, 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 manu your manual goes but I wouldn't worry about it too much because with a bit of experience you get used to the, 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 the fact that um, like in this case a cybernet radio is going to have a, a sensitivity for 12 dB of say uh, around um, 0.2 of a microvolt um, some are a little bit better than a 0.2 some are a little bit, little bit worse than a 0.2 but at least you know that at 0.2 of a microvolt your receiver is working properly um, and you're not relying on, on the signal meter inside the radio because um, you know that's that's not the way to go <laughs> you need a cali calibrated signal level and even the, even though this is um, um, probably out of calibration by quite a bit uh, it's still um, a reference that you've got uh, in, in your workshop or your lab that, uh, that, that, that you, you can try again two radios against each other or um, or you can even with the, the fact that you know you, you're going to get um, 0.2 of a microvolt for 12 dB sign on, on most cybernet radios um, that the receiver that you're checking is working properly um, you can hear by the audio it's uh, it's it's uh, quite a quite a, a, a clean signal uh, even though I think this one is a little bit off frequency um, it still doesn't sound too bad um, but I, I can hear sort of even though it's you know it's not shown there I, I can hear myself that it's it's slightly distorted so I think it is it's slightly off frequency the level audio level that you put in for FM is um, uh, 3 kc is for uh, for 10 10 kc bandwidth f uh, per, per channel which is about sort of um uh 60 percent of um if you if you channel uh your channel bandwidth um so obviously the the, the if, if the, the the bandwidth was a little bit higher between channels um the the channel space and say 25 kc is so obviously the, the, K, the deviation would be a little bit higher um, works exactly the same on AM mark, um, no different, uh, you can use sign on AM just exactly the same um, with 80% modulation between 60 and 80% uh, it's not that critical um, but sort of I use about 80% modulation and it works fine exactly the same you should get the same signal levels or pretty close to the same signal levels um, for 12 dB sign out as you do on FM and you can actually use it on sideband as well the same method um, and just follow your, follow your manual or um, as I say if you've got you, you were talking the other night about using two radios and comparing the, the, the receive sensitivity for two radios it's absolutely ideal method because um, you can um, you, you know you can, you can compare like for like rather than looking at two different signal meters and saying oh yeah yeah the, 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 the cybernet works better than the, the Cobra because I'm receiving somebody on, on uh, with a better signal level as far as the signal meter is concerned, on the on the on the cybernet compared to the Cobra, I mean we know you know that that's that's not um, yeah, that's not the, the the way to measure a signal, but it, the, your signal meter just gives you a guide, doesn't give you a, <laughs> it doesn't give you an exact level, whereas your cyanide meter will, um, and your your signal generator. But I, as far as the setup goes, that's pretty much it. Um, I've I've done a. a a little bit as far as the M is concerned and I'll show you, I'll, I'll stick there on the end to show you that um, you know with 80% modulation on the AM um, it's going to you're going to have exactly the same sort of uh, level on um, your signal generator for um, 12, 12 dB uh, cyanide um, you know so so it works exactly the same way on the AM as it does on FM but I'll, I'll, I'll stick there on the end and then uh, you know, have a look. I, th I think I've covered pretty much everything. I mean, as far as this, me looking at this, it, it looks sort of fairly straightforward. Somebody else that um, doesn't doesn't know it so well probably might not even be able to follow me me description. But um, I say it's, it's it's not difficult. It might help a little bit. But if it doesn't, just let us know, and I'll try try to explain it a little bit better. Um, but I'll post this and see how you get on with it, Mark. But, uh, as I say, it's it's not that difficult. I mean that. The e side of the meter on the 2955 isn't. Um, it's it's got a lag and everything, and it, it flickers out a fair bit between uh, uh, 11.5 dB and say um, uh, 12.5 dB. But um, you know, as long as it's approximately 12 12 dB sign out, um, you know that's uh, that that that's pretty much it. I mean, I've got a, an analog meter, a sign out meter, which I prefer because when you're sort of watching the, the needle and it says 12 dB cyanide that's exactly what it is and it stays steady 
it's easy to, to, to obviously pick um, uh, the RF section of a, of a receiver with um, uh, an analog, analog meter rather than uh, the 2955 but you can do it with that I mean you know it does work I mean, it's fine so let us know you get on and I hope it helps Right, there you go, the receiver's actually on AM um, and that's putting sort of 80% modulation in um, and you've got your 12 dB sign out there or more or less and uh, this, the signal level is um, 0 0.2 it was two, uh, 0.22 before 0.216 it's, it's pretty much pretty much more or less identical um, so as I see, you can use the sign method on, on, on uh, on EM as well. Um, I mean the the. the